Yo, I think I seen uh, to be in front of the camera. Ah, oh, it's been so long. What is up, family? It's your girl, Bapegwa Damini. Da, 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 da. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, and welcome. And if you just clicked on this video and saw this pretty face, welcome, 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 welcome. Happy New Year, guys. I know it's like almost the end of January. And I'm hopping out here wishing you guys Happy New Year as if like the year just started. But I did post a vlog to show you guys that I'm still okay. I'm still alive and I'm back. I am so excited to be back, guys. Like, yo, you have no idea how excited I am. So this will be another video that I'll be making. I already have my notes here. So if you see me looking on the side, I'm looking at my notes. Um, I'm really excited, guys, to be back. And it's 2022, the year of the supernatural. I'm, like, really ecstatic about it. Like, super excited, guys. Um, 2021 wasn't good to most of us. <laughs> I always tell people, my 2021 wasn't as bad as 2020, 2020. Like, 2021 for me was good. Like, I really achieved so many things that I didn't think I would achieve. But I actually did achieve them. So... Yeah. yeah let's just say yeah i hope you guys are doing good comment down below and let me know how you're doing if you're doing good how has your year been i know it's only been a couple of days but yeah a lot has happened in those couple of days trust me so today i was just thinking once again what video am i going to make and it just hit me like every year we set goals and we actually have no idea how to start off the year. And some people start their year off in February. I was telling my sister that, you know what, next year, I want to be so... Yes, guys, I'm already postponing things to next year. <laughs> in 2023, I want to be so organized that my year will start in February. Like, my December and January will be a rest month because... We hardly rest, guys. We go through so much and we do so much, but there's hardly any rest. So I want to work on creating a routine and schedule myself to, you know, not overwork myself a lot. So watch the space, guys. Watch the space. Watch the space. Ah, and that's on period. <laughs> so if you're just watching this video and you're wondering why is this girl so loud, guys, I am like loud, happy. If you're looking for loudness, happiness contagious smiles wide smiles <laughs> this is the correct channel and if you're looking for faith-based content vlogs i'm going to exclude the singing because i haven't sung here in a long time so yeah this is just basically the channel if you're looking for all of that and if not you can just watch more videos and try to figure out what kind of content i create because i feel like i haven't really figured out the one thing that i want to do so if you're looking for something fun and exciting just click that subscribe button guys it's free like it's literally free and it doesn't even take up most of your time so just click the subscribe button and subscribe and you will be a subscriber and be part of the pw squad and that's some period <laughs> so let's start this video so my topic for today is how to design your life in 2022 my first step will be Tell the author, like tell the author, speak to God, pray to God, let him know how you want your 2022 to be. I know the year has already started, but it's not too late. You can literally just go on your knees, plan, plan it out. Tell God, this is how I would love my year 2022 to be. And I would like to hear how you would want it to be like, speak to the author, speak to God. Cause sometimes I feel like we make plans outside of God and outside of his purpose for us. And then next thing you know your plans are not being fulfilled and it's not even because those plans were not supposed to be fulfilled but the main thing that we're supposed to do is speak to the author and let god know what we would love like speak to him let him know your heart's desires already god created us guys so he already knows your plans he knows them even before you even think of them so that is why it's important that when you have an idea go back to the author and let him know your plans your ideas and let him guide you because once you give your idea to God, he's not going to give your idea and not show you how you're supposed to fulfill whatever idea he gave you. So whatever idea you get, let him know that, Abba, I got the idea. It's time to help me out, you know. 
make that one-on-one -on -one relationship thingy with God. And the second point is to plan. Yo, guys, I cannot... I cannot emphasize this enough. Plan. Don't just wake up and say you want to be a baker. And there are no plans in action. Like, salapasi, upale, balapasi. Get yourself a journal. A journal. Get yourself a piece of paper. If, if you're not, if you're not one to journal, get yourself a piece of paper. Just journal. Write it down. Write it down. There's a scripture in, is it Habakkuk? Habe, I don't know how to pronounce it. Have and have a cook two verse two where it's basically speaking about write down the plans that I give you down like write it down if you want in oh in where's my pen in August if you want to have started an NGO write it down today's the twenty I don't know what the date is today write it down that in August twenty I will start my NGO write it down and the reason why I say write it down is that sometimes the devil steals your ideas. You know, you wake up and you have an idea and you'll be like, oh no, procrastinated. I'll write it later. Next thing you're trying to remember your idea, gone. Write it down and writing it down helps you to remember and it gives you the oomph that every time you see your piece of paper where you wrote your goals and ideas, you remember that, hey, I wrote this down and I need to fulfill it. So write it down. The Bible even states in Habakkuk 2 verse 2 that we should write it down. Write it down. Down. I'm, I'm emphasizing on this because it's very important to write down your dreams. You know, I had things that I wrote down in 2020 and I'm looking at them now in 2022 and I'm like, oh, I've already achieved this, you know, but had I not written it down, I would have forgotten what I should be grateful for because writing it down, once you achieve it, you're able to be grateful for what you've achieved because you remember that, hey, actually, I got this idea two years back and it's now being fulfilled. So writing your, your dreams down, writing your goals down, writing how you would like your life to be in 2022 is very important. The third point. Ah, I hope I'm not talking too much, guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, the third point um, is also speaking to me. After you've written your goals down, work for it. Um, I feel like when we write ideas down and we pray to God, we just expect him to just drop down a bakery from heaven and be like, Supply me with the bakery, Lord. And you sit and you cross your arms and it's like... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Be proactive about your dreams. I'm going to keep making an example of a bakery because I own like a baking company. If... Do not sit on your idea. Like, I feel like sometimes we sit on our ideas and it's and it's so comfortable sitting on your idea. I can actually confess and say, yes, it's very comfortable when you sit on your idea God has given you and you don't fulfill it. Work. Be proactive. I'll give an example. If you are interested in entrepreneurship, look at programs around your city, around your country. If the programs that they're offering, maybe they'll say a ticket is 50 bucks. Pay for that convention or pay for that conference that will help you grow with whatever vision or plan you've written down. If you want to bake and you want to own a bakery, speak to different bakers. Like you rock up and pick and pay. Ask them, oh, I loved your donuts. Who baked them? Can I speak to the baker? And then he comes and then you speak to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you do this? You know, just be proactive. Go out there and work for your dream. Don't sit on yourself and expect your dreams to come from heaven and fall. They won't. Work, be proactive, show people, show people who you are, show up for your dream, show up for your goals. Don't just sit and write goals and affirm each and every single day. Work for them and yeah, guys, yo, I feel like shouting because this is so, <laughs> this is so, this is so sad how we all have so many goals and ideas, but we just sit on them and expect them for some weird reason to fall from heaven. No, 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 guys, let's work hard, work out, be proactive. If you want to work as an influencer at MTN, I'll make an example for MTN because like I, a lot of countries have MTN worldwide, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not going to misquote myself. A lot of countries have MTN and then you want to be an influencer for MTN. Have they seen you at MTN? Have you, have you written down a proposal for MTN telling them why they should pick you as their influencer? You know, write it down and work for it. Show people that this is your dream and you want to achieve it. Yes. <laughs> And then the fourth point is to create your habits. By create your habits, I mean if you planned last year to um, save money and somehow you kept on spending, 
you need to then say, okay, now it's 2022. I'm changing my habits. Change your habits. Do not do what you were doing the last time, especially if you had a goal and you failed to fulfill it. You cannot repeat the same habits, the same routines, the same cycles that you had before. So create a habit. An example. I'll, I'll keep using bakery. Um, I want to bake donuts. And you wake up at donuts. Okay, for those who don't know, baking, making donuts is a long time. Like it takes, it's a long process. And then you want to make deliveries. It deliver deliveries at noon, and then you wake up at ten. It doesn't make sense. Wake up earlier. Change those habits. Plan your day. I'm okay. I will be baking today, or I will be going out and shooting a, a video. And change your habits. Don't wake up at ten. Maybe wake up at nine or wake up at eight. Just change your habits on on how you are doing things so that you can fulfill your goals and not repeat repeat not fulfilling your goals. And then the last point is this is the last point and I feel like it's very important. Choose your friends wisely and have an accountable group. By accountable group, I mean people that you know, a circle, your own circle. It could be your friends, your family, but have people that you know that will be accountable for your goals with you. So if I have a goal to say, I want a bakery this year, I should have friends who will support that idea, pray with me, push me, even in days where I'm like, I'm not waking up today, I'm not baking. Have someone who's going to say, listen, you're not sitting on yourself. You are not sitting if you're sitting on yourself. So have an accountable group. Have, an, have, have, have a circle of people who want to see you win. Have people who see the vision. Don't have friends who will slack with you, procrastinate with you, tell you that, oh, you'll do it tomorrow. You know that word, you will do it tomorrow, is such a trash word because literally every time you postpone things to do them tomorrow, we never do them. So have an accountable group of people who are going to push you and make sure you fulfill your dream, your goal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was loud. Maybe sometimes I was shouting. It's because this really makes me emotional and I'm trying to change myself. You know, I'm just making sure we'll see this year starts off on a good note. So if you loved this video, please like it, comment down below and let me know you're watching guys because it really makes me happy when I see you guys in the comment section, when I see your likes. And when I see you guys inboxing me, DMing me, you know, telling me to continue pushing, I hope you loved this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah.